The Bouncer Hunter is a hybrid class that fights in close quarters with soaring blades and in the air with techniques via their jet boots. This combo of melee and magic offers a unique gameplay experience. Let's take a look at their skill trees. First, we put 3 points and dexterity up 1 to open up the skill tree. Learn sidestep jump, first arts perfect attack edition, air reversal, perfect recovery and attack combo, and double jump when you reach the appropriate levels. At level 80, be sure to max out high level bonus bouncer. Next, grab jet boots focus and jet boots focus boost, which gives you the jet boots focus gauge. This changes your weapon's element to match the element of the last technique you used. Next, max out Jet Boots Escape, which will grant a split second of invincibility every time you attack with Jet Boots. Then, grab Encore Jump, which lets you expend your Focus Gauge to gain additional jumps after attacking. After that, grab Soaring Blades Focus, which grants a Focus Gauge for Soaring Blades that increases the damage dealt with Soaring Blade Photon Arts as well as giving you the ability to throw photon darts at enemies. Follow this by maxing out Critical Field, which deploys a field around you that boosts the critical hit rate of you and anyone standing in the field. Upgrade this with Field Remain, which allows the buff to stay for a short time for party members, even if they step outside the field. Next, max out Shifta Air Attack Boost, which increases the extra damage that Shifta grants while attacking in the air. Follow this with Deband Attack PP Restaurant, which boosts the PP recovery of normal attacks when you are buffed with Deband. Maxing out Rapid Boost is next, which is an important skill to have. When activated, this skill reduces the charge time of Jet Boots, Photon Arts, and Techniques. Upgrade this by maxing out Rapid Boost JA Bonus, which increases the damage dealt with perfect attacks while Rapid Boost is active. The next skill you want is Switch Strike, which makes your Jet Boots use your melee stat instead of tech for attacks and photon arts, which should result in higher damage output. For Soaring Blades, it's important to max out Photon Blades Fever, which doubles the number of photon blades you throw when active. This is upgraded by maxing out Photon Blades Fever Up and Photon Blades Escape. These make your photon blades do more damage as well as grant temporary invincibility when throwing them. When using Jet Boots, it's important to max out Elemental Stance. This passive stance grants a bonus to damage dealt when attacking enemies with their elemental weakness. Max out Elemental Stance up, and put 2 points in Elemental Stance Critical to upgrade this. For Soaring Blades, the ideal stance is Break Stance. When active, this stance allows you to deal more damage to breakable sections of enemies, which not only makes for more effective bossing, but can also make bosses drop more loot. Upgrade this by maxing out Break Stance Up, putting 2 points in Break Stance Critical, and lastly, grabbing Break Stance D Bonus, which grants a bonus to Break Stance when Soaring Blades are equipped. We use the standard Hunter subclass for this build. First, put 6 points into HP up 1. When you reach level 80, be sure to max out high level bonus hunter. Next, max out perfect attack bonus 1 and 2. Fury Stance is important for this build as well. Maxing out every part of Fury Stance will grant us a melee damage bonus, while also granting an increase in critical hit rate. Next, putting 3 points into Guard Stance will give us the skill Automate Half which we will max out. This skill makes us automatically use a potion when we drop below 50% HP. Lastly, we will max out Iron Will and Stalwart Spirit, which together grant a 75% chance to survive a fatal blow with one hit point. And when you do, it grants 15 seconds of invincibility. To travel, we have the Jet Boots Photon Art Grand Wave, which makes you dash forward and unleash a flurry of kicks. For mobbing with Jet Boots, make sure you have Switch Strike on. Switch to the element your enemy is weak against, and use Surging Gale's Variant Art. Press the Weapon Action button to change what the art does. For mobbing with Soaring Blades, simply spam Disperser Strike and use your Photon Blades. For bossing with Jet Boots, get as high up on the boss as you can, 
Switch to the boss's elemental weakness and spam Strike Gust Type 0 to not only deal damage, but to also fill your focus gauge. When the gauge is full, use Jet Sweep Kick, either in its normal form or variant form, to deal a burst of damage. For bossing with Soaring Blades, activate Photon Blades Fever, lock onto a breakable part, and alternate between throwing Photon Blades and using the Immortal Dove Photon Art. When Photon Blades Fever ends, use Disperser Shrike to build up your focus gauge, and use Kestrel Rampage Type 0 when the gauge is full. For skill rings, we use Kick and Tackle, which lets you deal melee damage to enemies you run into when throwing photon darts, while reducing the charge time of techniques when used after a Jet Boots photon art. We also use Critical Strike Melee, which increases your critical hit rate and critical damage with melee attacks. Lastly, you should be using a Dex Mag, with 200 levels of Dex support. 